Moses could say to him, show me your glory, and he saw his glory, if you will say, show me your glory, you too will see his glory. The Bible says, seek, and you will do what? You will find. You hear me? The time of our captivity has expired. Do you know that your Redeemer lives? I decree from today, nobody will shine with your star. Aleke man supaha. Elegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedegedeged
than salvation. It takes God more to save a soul than to heal a person. You remember the paralytic that was brought to Jesus. When Jesus looked at that man, Jesus said, Son, your sins are forgiven. And they began to agitate. Who is this man to forgive sin? And Jesus asked them one million naira question. He asked them, which one is more simpler? To say, take your mat and go. Or to forgive. Which one is more simpler? They didn't answer. In other words, Jesus was telling them, I have done the one that is a work. The one that is heavier, I have done it. What is in the other one? The other one is my, my case. Okay, for you to know that I have the power to forgive sin. He turned to the man and said, take your mat and do what? That one is more simple. As many that are sick, no matter the name of the sickness, if you come with a blind man, he is leaving this service seen. If you come with anybody crippled, you will walk back to the house today. Any terminal disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, no matter the name of the disease, that sickness is not leaving this church with you. If your amen is the loudest, God will begin from you. Open your Bible to Exodus chapter 23. I want to take verse 25 and verse 26. So you shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and your water. And I will Take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be buried in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. If God has just spoken to you, can I hear your amen? Look at Every scriptural promise you see, first of all, go and look for the condition behind it. This is some things many will not tell you so that you will not stop coming to their church. God is a business guru. God understands covenant. And anything that is based on covenant the two parties have their duties to play. So you shall serve the Lord your God. Is it not how we started? Am I correct? So you shall serve the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread and your water. And I will take away sickness from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land, and I will fulfill the days, number of your days. I want you to know, to be fully convinced in you, that God wants you to stay healthy. There is an assurance I want you to have tonight. This is the basis of every healing. The basis of every healing is the assurance that God wants me to stay healthy. I think, I think this assurance has left many of us. Oh, Yanka. I am a Guinea. Oh, I Something must kill you. There is an assurance from the scripture that 
God wants you to stay. Now, look at the way God said, I will bless your bread and water. I've heard a medical personnel made an assertion. He said that every sickness is as a result of what you eat or what you did not eat. I've heard that assertion from a medical personnel. That sickness is as a result of what you eat or what you did not eat. Now, when you see God talking about blessing your bread and your water, that means he's trying to say that whatever you eat will not bring you sickness. And God went further to say, I will take away sickness. Every sickness that entered this church today, God will take it away. The cases I want to pray for today are cases doctors said it cannot be healed. You know, doctors, there are cases they manage. There are the ones they will treat. Three of us. He will tell you, I am the one managing this patient. That means he has no solution to that problem. He has no cure to that problem. But look at God. God is not saying, I will manage your sickness. You see what he said? What did he say? I will do what? Child of God, say it louder. When you take away something, is it still there? Hi, about who has this trumpet? The daddy. If I take it away from here, this trumpet, is it still here? I want you to understand God. God didn't just say, I will manage your sickness. God said, I will take away BP. About. Did it enter? I will take away diabetes. Oh. Anybody in the house today? Let's read that Bible again. Go back. Numbers. Exodus chapter 23. Let's read it. All of us, we are going to read it together. If you understand this thing, your healing has started. If you understand this thing, your healing has what? Are you in Exodus 23? Verse what? 25 and 26. No matter your translation, even if you have your Bible, make your voice to be loudest. One, two, go! Did you, did you see it in your Bible? I will take away sickness. It didn't enter. This is the assurance you need to pray prayer of faith. Faith can only come by hearing. And hearing what? Not news. You know, the most dangerous thing in our society now is that every breaking news is negative. Three of us. The news that sells faster are negative news. When you open internet, every, once you see breaking news, 90% of them are negative. They can't bring faith. It's not everything you hear that brings faith. The only thing you will hear that will bring faith is what? The word of God. And yesterday I told you in the spiritual market, the legal tender, the currency that is used to possess anything in the spiritual market is the currency of what? Faith. With the currency of faith, you can buy anything in the spiritual market. 
You can buy healing. You can buy fruit of the womb. You can buy open door. As long as you have that legal tender, how do you possess it? It can only come by hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. Children of God, talk says the Lord tonight. I will take away sickness from you. Every sickness you carry to this place, look at it for the last time. Because God is taking it away. That amen is weighing down my anointing. I will take. You know, that one was a promise. It was what? A promise. Has it been fulfilled? It was fulfilled in Jesus. For the Bible said that Jesus took away our infirmities. So that promise is fulfilled. For by his stripes you we are healed. God promised I will. But do you know that that promise kept the people of Israel? More than 3 million people this promise kept them healthy. Ah, let me show you something. Open your Bible to Psalm, Psalms number 105. Psalms number 105. What I need is to help your faith. Once it is done, Healing is a smart thing. <laughs> Psalms number 105, verse 37. Verse 37. He also brought them out with silver and gold, and there was none feeble among his tribes. <laughs> More than three million people he brought them out of Egypt and none of them was sick. Children of God, look at me. None of them was sick. More than three million people. You know, when Bible counts, Bible only counts men. So, if you hear three million people, Bible is just talking about men. And you know, by Jewish culture, they are permitted to marry more than one wife. If these three million people had married two, two wives, that means women already are what? Six million. And if six million has given birth to five, five children. But do you know, by this promise, I will take away sickness from your miss. None. The Bible said none. None means not even one. Now, can you tell me that that God that did it in the old covenant, when the blood of Jesus is not yet activated for more than 12 million people, can he not take away all the sickness among us here? Are we up to 1,000 here? Can he not take away all of them? Huh? Yeah. Can he not do that? Yeah. Lift your right hand and say, Oh God, my Father, oh God, my Father. I believe your word. By the stripe of Jesus, every sickness in my body is taken away in the name of Jesus. Chine ken ki gwe Mkwa ginine Ne bukwa amoma Ni mo kunsogi Aina nukwa Na hukuboshi Iye negosi No kugi Bwezie
do? Can I get somebody here who will believe God? God is not looking for a man that will help him. He's only looking for a man that can believe him. Is there anybody that stepped in here with sickness and he is trusting God that that sickness is taken away? I told you something. God is not manufacturing. He will not manufacture another healing for you. The healing is already provided. But you need faith to enter spiritual market and receive that healing. That's why the Bible says, by his stripes, you will be healed. Is that the scripture? No. It's not by his stripes you will be healed. By his stripes, you will. Present or past tense. Present or past tense. Which means, before you were born, you have been healed. He took away our sickness. That is the scripture. He bore our sin. The transgressions of our sins were upon him. He bore our sins and he took away our sickness. If you have diabetes in your body, it's not your own. Your own was taken away more than 2,000 years ago. Hi, did it enter? Eh? Since I took away that trumpet from here, is it still here? When you see diabetes in your body, when you see cancer in your body, when you see tumor in your body, when you see high blood pressure, sister, it's not your own. Your own was taken away. That one belongs to another person. Let the owners of evil load carry it in the name of Jesus. Do you know the only way I can suffer my sickness let me show you the only way I can suffer my sickness. Do you know what happened? The day Jesus took my own sickness, he carried my sickness to the cross. He was crucified with my sickness. Together with what? My sins. Excuse me. Did you know it was not only your sin that Jesus carried to the cross? Huh? Was it only your sin that Jesus carried to the cross? He also took your sickness and your sins. And he took that sickness to the cross. He was crucified together with your sickness. He died. They carried his dead body together with your sickness. Went to the grave and buried Jesus and your sickness. On the third day, Jesus left your sickness and your sins in the grave and he resurrected alone. Child of God, your own sickness is no more existing. The only way I can suffer my sickness is that Satan will have the capacity to enter heaven and go to the right hand of God and bring Jesus. Eh? Then he will take Jesus back to the grave. Collect that sickness Jesus left in the grave. Put it back on Jesus. And take Jesus back to the cross. From the cross, he will bring Jesus where I am. Collect that sickness from Jesus. And put it back on me. If he cannot do it, I can suffer my sickness. Amen. Can he do that? No. He has taken my sorrows away. He has taken my sickness away. Can I hear your hands? Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Say it louder. He has taken my sorrows away. Yeah, he has taken my sickness away. Hallelujah. 
Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. He has taken my sickness away. He has taken my sorrows away. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. He has taken. Say you so that Satan will hear you. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Is mine. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. Ah, stand up and celebrate hey, hey. Jesus. Oh, yeah. He has taken my sorrows away. He has taken my sickness away. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Say it now. My sorrows away. He has taken my sorrows away. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Clap your hands. Make a joyful noise. Somebody be happy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. He has taken my sorrows away. He has taken my sorrows away. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah, Jesus is my Savior. He has taken my sorrows away. He has taken my sorrows away. Hallelujah, Jesus is my Hallelujah, Jesus is my Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.